doing some magic tricks filming. I'm basically teaching magic tricks one to one live over Zoom, which is a kind of fancy FaceTime. If you want to get involved and learn some tricks, let me know. You can do that at Facebook. You can go to the Magic Match on Facebook, or you can contact me at Let's Box Magic on Facebook as well. Or you can get me through my website, which is themagicmatchshow.co.uk. Whatever you want to do, give me a shout. We'll teach you some tricks. About a 20 minute lesson or so. You can go away, learn those tricks, and come back and show me how you're doing it a bit later on. Good to see you. Good to learn some tricks with you. And uh, yeah, stay safe, guys. A bit scary at the minute, but it'll be all good. Promise. Hello! Um, accidentally hit my sound cue, so we've got a bit of music as well. Um, let's pull that down a little bit. How are we doing? Welcome to our magic cabin and welcome to our lesson for the week. It is our free lesson on Friday. Every single Friday we do a free magic lesson so you guys can learn some tricks. I want to pop up a little uh, bit of uh, text for you. So please don't forget to share the video for me, like the video, comment on the video, say hello to you there. Uh, so Beth's actually watching today. Hi Beth, hi Sam. Hi Caroline, hi Dave, I'm glad you managed to join me. Um, please do say hi, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, I know you are there. Um, let's text me, is this something wrong? Oh, she's now texting me asking how my day is. She knows I'm live, why is she texting me on the now? I'll, yes, I will, uh, I'll sort that out later Beth, um, if you're watching this thing as well. I'll text you back then. She literally calls me and texts me whenever I'm doing one of these shows. So this is the one today. It is our free magic lesson. It's going to be a card trick today. So grab yourself a deck of cards. You will uh, be doing these with cards. It's going to be, oh, somebody's like that as well, which is good. Excellent. It is a card trick today. So you need a deck of cards. Right before everyone jumps on and wants to learn the trick, I'm going to show you a quick, hey, Sam, how are we doing? Thank you for saying hi. I'll make your little comment pop up there. Hi Sam, thank you for joining me today. Um, I am going to show you a quick little card trick uh, that I like and then I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to teach you straight after this one, okay? All right, so it's going to use deck of cards that you need. So if you've not got a deck of cards, grab one of those just while I'm showing you how to do this actual trick. Um, and then, uh, so i showing you the actual trick I'm going to show you and then I'm going to teach you your own trick right after that you need your own deck of cards for. Uh, but this was just a trick that basically I Came across the other day, I'd completely forgotten about, so I thought I would show you at the start of this uh, little lesson, and then I'll show you a trick that you guys can do as well. So this is what you're kind of aiming for when you do a bit more magic. This is one that I did uh, as a kid. So let's have a look. I'm going to do this on my side camera because it's going to be a lot easier for you but uh, to see what's going on, and you'll see from the top down then a little bit better. But first of all, usually I just get someone to shout stop for me. Obviously I can't do that because you're on a delay, so I'd have gone well past the cards before you shouted stop. So I'll cut these down to the table. Anytime you like, hi Jed, hi, thanks for joining me. Anytime you like, you just shout stop for me. So just holler stop at your screen. Stop! Perfect, excellent. There you sure? Excellent work. Well, what I was gonna actually try and do was I was gonna try and find the four aces uh, for this trick, and we've already found them because there are four spots on the four of hearts, and there are four spots on the four aces. Does that make sense? No, 
Okay, don't believe us. If you are watching with kids, do please say hello and let me know who you're watching with so I can say hi to them as well. Let's flip to the side camera and I'll show you what I mean by finding the four aces. So I said there's four spots in the four of hearts, there's four spots in the four aces. We're actually going to find the four aces by pulling them out of the four of hearts. So the first one, we pull out just like this, and the first one, you're going to pull the ace of hearts out. That leaves three left, okay, so it's a four minus one is three, and we're left with diamonds rather than uh, the hearts. The next one I'm going to try and pull out is going to try and pull out the uh, two of diamonds, so the ace of diamonds even. That puts us one down to put us on the two of spades, so one down and we're a spade. And then the last one, the third one we're going to pull out, we're going to pull out the last one which is the ace of spades and that leaves us with the ace of clubs so therefore we've found, technically found the four aces using those four cards why is that so bright let me just turn that off can you see it better no that's even worse okay i'm not quite sure what's going on my side camera there but there we are we can see the aces now we're going to use three different cards for each one of the four aces in different cards are cards that don't really matter they don't really count We'll put those behind the four aces and then one at a time i'll get rid of those cards now one at a time we're going to take each ace we're going to pop it into the spread just like this okay and then we're going to try and count through the cards and hopefully that that um exposure is really bad i'm sorry about that i don't know what's happened to that side camera there um yeah so we've got the ace in the middle there we'll try and do a little trick we're going to try and get rid of that ace so you get a little twist a little flick like this count through and hopefully the first one we should have got rid of the ace of uh, hearts, two, three, four. The next one, we're gonna go with the ace of diamonds, try and get rid of this one, so that one goes into the spread just like this. We'll do the same thing again, give it a twist, and uh, we'll count through those again, hopefully with a bit of luck this time. One, two, three, and four. The ace of diamonds is gone. Uh, we'll try it with the ace of spades. The ace of spades is gonna go into our little mix as well. Uh, we'll go through this one, give it a little flick and a little twist. And this time, hopefully, uh, we've got an ace of spades, yeah, aren't we? Hopefully, one, two, three, four, and the ace of spades has disappeared. And the last one, the ace of clubs, we'll throw that one into the mix as well. That goes in there, and we'll count through those. Little flick, little twist, we'll count through those. One, two, oh, I missed it. Two, three, oh, hang on, so it's not gone. Try again. Uh, one, that's there. Two, three, four. Oh, no, sorry about this. Let me try it one more time. Uh, one, two three oh. actually you know what this time what we'll do if we turn that ace over if we get this little push through your hand hopefully that look it doesn't vanish but we should end up with one two three four aces all joined down this end and that exposure is rubbish so sorry about that but hopefully you managed to see it okay right so that's me faffing around with cards done um hopefully you guys are ready hopefully you've got your deck of cards give us a thumbs up if you are there if you are ready so far it's only sam that said hello to me but i know i've got about 10 people watching so please do say hi uh give us a like give us a love anything like that and i know you're there and i'll quickly go through um quickly go through this trick with you and then I'm going to teach you how to do the trick right after I have um, explained it or right after I've shown it to you so who have we got so it's just literally just Sam has said hi at the moment that's it okay fair enough um, right so this trick you need a shuffled up deck of cards um, <coughs> mixed up shuffled however you like let's get rid of that sign at the top don't want to see that um, and what I'm going to do, I can actually cheat on here because I've got a screen, but don't worry about that. Uh, this is kind of, it's its called feeling the cards, all right? It's uh, its Max Awareness Week this week, um, and Max are a charity that I do a lot of stuff for. I'm going to be doing a show for them tomorrow, okay? So um, they uh, uh, support families of... Uh, of children that are born when their eyes don't develop properly, okay, uh, so they don't grow uh, grow fully, and then this this supports their families. So I'm doing a thing for their charity tomorrow, very worthwhile cause. So I thought one that would do, I could do today a trick that's based on touch, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically go through the cards, and I'm going to feel the card, okay, and feel what it is based on touch, just by touch alone with my fingers. So the first one, okay, the first one is. Oh, Debbie, hi, Matt, from Jenna and Jack. So Jenna and Jack are here. Hi, 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 hi. Thank you for joining us, Debbie. Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So the first one, I'm going to go just by feel. Yeah, I think I think that was the ten of diamonds, okay? Ten of diamonds, right? Next one, I'll do the same thing again. Um, and next one is going to be, oh, I can feel that one. That one is the, the four of clubs, okay? And then we've got the next one. Um, we've got the... Um, three of diamonds i believe okay and then my next one we'll go to the next one that one is the um queen of clubs i think yeah queen of clubs and then uh next one the um oh i think it feels nine of hearts 
Okay, nine of hearts. And then the last, uh, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Um, uh, okay, one more. We'll go with the um, eight of hearts. Is that right? Eight of hearts. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and you can go on and do that as much as you like all the way through the trick. And there is nothing to find. The cards are completely uh, completely normal. There's nothing to find. Um, I miscounted, so there is. Uh, but there's nothing to find there afterwards as well. Okay, so uh, basically it's a really simple card trick that you can do. And it leads on from the card trick that we did two weeks ago. If you wanted to routine them together and you're already set up with this card trick, well, you don't have to be set up for the trick. Okay, what you do... You get your pack of cards and it can be shuffled up and mixed, all right? And the only thing you need to know is the bottom card when you first start doing it, okay? So the bottom card when you first do it. So basically, uh, just have a little look. As you've taken the cards back off, have a shuffle them, have a little look at the bottom card and spot what it is. Mine and this one is the King of Diamonds, okay? So just have a little sneaky look so you know what that card is, okay? Uh, you can do that when you're shuffling the cards, when you're mixing them. Just get a look at that bottom card, all right? Now... I put the cards behind my back and I say I'm going to feel what the cards are. So I've had a little look. I know it's the King of Diamonds. Put my hands behind my back and what I'm actually doing at this point, I'm not feeling for what the card is. What I'm doing is I'm taking the bottom card, the King of Diamonds, I'm taking it off the bottom, I'm turning it over so it's face up and I'm putting it on the top. Okay. And so then when I bring the cards out this time, I bring them out this way and I hold the cards up like this. So that whoever I'm doing the trick for thinks they are looking at the face card and they think that I am looking at backs of cards. I am not looking at backs of cards. I'm looking at the next card, which is the two of hearts. So this, this is actually a pack of cards where all the backs are facing you, all right? But this one that's on the front is the face is facing you. So you think that it is a full deck of cards. I'm showing you like this. And all I'm doing now is I'm looking at what the next card's going to be. So it's the two of hearts, okay? Now, it's a bit weird over Face uh, FaceTime or Zoom or whatever you're using, because Facebook as well, I can see this card in the picture at the moment, but normally when you're face-to-face -face with somebody, you won't be able to see it. So that's why we do this trick live, all right? Because otherwise it looks rubbish, okay? Because they know you can see it in the camera. So uh, hold it. If they're really gullible, though, don't just do it that way and just look in the camera. Uh, if they don't, don't want to notice that, do that. Uh, right, okay. Hold it up. I'm looking. I can see the next one is the two of hearts now so when I put my hand behind my back all I'm doing this time is I'm taking the two of hearts and I'm putting that on the bottom turn that over and putting it to face them so when I come up again like this I'm now going to say the next one is the two of hearts and I'm looking to see what the next one is it's the jack of diamonds okay so then I go behind my back again and I bring this up to, up to the front and I say okay so this one is the uh, I think it's the jack of diamonds okay and I'm looking now and it's the six of hearts I'm looking at okay so I know the next one's the six of hearts Go behind my back again, move the six to the bottom, I'm coming back up the front, say six of hearts. I've looked at the next one, it's the five of hearts, okay? You come up, five of hearts, right. Now, now all I've got left on the, the one I'm looking at is the six of diamonds now. I've done six cards, one, two, three, four, five, uh, sorry, no, I've not done six, I've miscounted. So I'll do the six, the six of diamonds, that one, I do the same thing, that goes on the bottom, come out, six of diamonds, and now I'm looking, I've got the four of diamonds here. Now, I know that I've done six cards this time, okay? So I, I can keep counting my head. A five or six is a good number, okay? Decide how many I'm going to do and stick to that. Now, when I put my hands behind my back now, I'm going to count off the bottom six cards, okay? So we're one, two, three, four, five, six. This is behind my back, okay? And then I'm going to turn, I'm looking, and it is the, I've seen the four of diamonds, so I don't need to see that now. I put this is my back. I'm going to turn those six cards over, and I'm going to turn these over and bring them out. With the last one, and I say four of diamonds, and that's it. I'm done. The pack is now in perfect order. They're in perfect um, uh, order, is in the all faced in the right way. Okay, so they're all they're all. Why is that so bad today? That that exposure is really bright. Let me just. I'm trying to go at my camera and see if I can change that. Um, but yeah, they're all in the perfect. Uh, perfect colors okay hopefully that will re readjust my camera and it will uh, it will work okay let's see let's see if it's any better uh, yeah they're all the right way up so they're all all the faces are facing the right way uh, yeah that's better isn't it okay all the faces are facing the right way all the backs are facing the right way as well okay so we're all good all right it looks perfectly normal yeah okay so just to go through that again 
what you do, they shuffle the cards up, they mix them as much as they like, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Um, I'm going to give myself a round of applause because no one's joined in with me today. I'm not getting many people uh, with a little wave or a smile or anything like that. People can go out more, I think, and I'm not getting as many people onto the free lesson, but never mind. Okay, so um, you get them to choose, uh, so they, they give you the cards back. You have a little look at that bottom card. I've had a look, it's a seven of clubs, okay? Seven of clubs, I've clocked that. These go behind my back, okay? And I'm going to turn that seven of clubs uh, so I say behind my back, I say right, when I've looked until I can feel what the card is, I know it's seven of clubs already, and that seven of clubs I've turned face up and put on the top of the pack, and I'm coming out now with the deck, and I'm showing you that seven of clubs, I know what it is, it is, and I say that one felt like the seven of clubs, okay? Now I'm looking, and the next one I can see is the jack of hearts, okay? So this goes behind my back, that jack I move to the bottom, okay? And then bring it back out, jack of hearts, okay? I'm looking at three of clubs. All right, so this time, three of clubs. That's three, okay. Next one, ace of, ace of hearts. Was it ace of hearts? Yeah, ace of hearts, that's four. Okay, next one, it's going to be the ace of diamonds. Okay, so ace of diamonds, that's five. And the uh, next one, I'm going to go uh, eight of diamonds. That's six now, okay. Now I'm looking at the next card lined up is the ace of spades. So now I'm going to go behind, count off those six that I've already turned over. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do that in my head while I say I'm going to have a feel for this one. Oh, it's a bit difficult, this last one. I'm turning those six face down again, okay. And then I'm going to come back out with the last one and say, um, I think it was the ace of spades, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was the Ace of Spades, and then you can pass the uh, the hand of the deck out for examination. They can check that they're all okay because, like I say, you've put that back, you've turned that back over, so it's facing the right way now. Uh, so they they don't know how you've cheated. Okay, so all you're doing then, just so up close, you take the cards off them. Let's cut these in so for a different set of cards. You look at the face card so you know what it is. Okay, these go behind your back. When it's behind your back, you're taking that bottom card. You turn it over, okay, and then you're bringing it back out the front, and you're holding it that way, and you're saying to them the six of uh, diamonds. While you're holding that up, you can see what this card is here, because all the other cards are facing away from them, okay, they're facing towards you, all right, except for that front one, but they think the whole pack, they're just looking at the face card, okay. So then go behind your back again. You know, taking that top, you're looking, you've seen the five of hearts, you're taking that one, it goes on, turns over and goes underneath. You come back out the front, you hold it up, and you say five of hearts. And we've got then you bang on your back, next one, six of hearts, that's three. Next one, jack of diamonds, four. Next one, two of hearts, that's five. And last one, king of diamonds, that's six. Uh, so I'm going to go behind. I'm now trying to find your, uh, feel your card. Oh, this one's a bit more difficult than before. So I've counted all six of those ones. I turn those over, bring this back out, okay? Remembering that that's the four of diamonds. I say four of diamonds, and then they can check them out to make sure there's no uh, finger marks. You don't, you don't want to draw attention to the actual method of a trick. You don't want to say, oh, just check that the, uh, there's none turned the wrong way or anything like that. No, you want to bring them back out and you want to say um, just have a uh, check and make sure you can't feel any there's nothing to feel there's no braille or anything like that on the card so I can tell what they are okay so that's the trick for this week if you did a trick with us last week or the week before last the last card trick we did you'll remember that we actually had a card turned over as part of that trick yeah we had a card turned face up as part of that trick and it was on the other side of the card, but the other end of the deck, wasn't it? Okay. And to get clean afterwards, we have to turn that back around the right way. Well, what you can actually do is you could go straight into this trick from that trick. Okay. In your casual talking, you could have that card that's there on the bottom, and you can just move that to the top. Okay, so you can do an actual full shuffle to that, go into full details on that on my Magic Masterclass, which you don't need to go into all those details now. Do the shuffle and just hold the cards, and if you know what it is already, you can bring it up straight away and you can go into that one, so we're going to guess the face card, so there you go, Jack of Hearts, and then you're straight into the trick where you're turning them over, that would be the second one, third one, uh, fourth one, yeah, fifth one, and sixth one, right, and then you can do the cl same clean up, so I know it's in the 10, I go behind, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Turn those all face up. Uh, come back out with the ten this way. A ten of hearts, that's the last one. And there you go, you've got two tricks back to back and you're already set up into the second trick from the first one. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Right, has anybody got any questions at all for me before we wrap up? Because it's a short one today, short and sweet. Um, I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed the trick. Uh, let's go, if you've got any questions, you've got a minute or two to answer, I'll answer those questions for you. Uh, thank you for that, that was me doing that myself. Um, but yeah, any questions at all, anything like that you want to ask uh, about the trick or how to do magic bits in general. Oh, let's get rid of that because for some reason I've got two now. Why have I got two Zoom Live Magics on that end screen? I don't want that, let's get rid of that so you can't see. Oh, what's it? Debbie, great trick, Jonah and Jack, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Um, my mum's away on holiday at the moment, they're staying in the camp, uh, the, the caravan down south so that'll be why she's not watching and, and uh, putting all the usual comments on so I feel quite lonely when mum's not here but thank you uh, Jenna and Jack for watching thank you Debbie as well um, you're more than welcome thank you thank you for joining me and tuning in great news yesterday uh, it looks like I'm gonna be able to start performing outside again so I've got to get all that stuff put out there from the Magic Mat Show. Uh, I've got my little Magic Mat Show logo on now because I started doing the shows. Um, I did a couple of Facebook shows, so I left the logo on there afterwards. So yeah, if you don't follow the Magic Mat Show, search for the Magic Mat Show and you can follow that page as well. Um, that is my um, Facebook page for my kids' magic shows and they will be starting outdoors from next Monday. Uh, so from this Monday coming. I'll be able to do those because it's actually from tomorrow, but I'm booked up with things all this weekend. So yeah, from Monday, I'll be doing outdoor shows. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'll be doing those for kids stuff and for my adult stuff. So the adult stuff is looking more likely with weddings as well, which is good. Weddings are starting to come back in. It looks like we're starting to be able to get more than 30 people on those now. So that's uh, great news, great news um, for me as a performer because it means I can finally get back to some actual face-to-face -face work all sorts of social distance obviously and being really careful uh, being as careful as you can be um, but yeah hopefully touch wood we're uh, going to be working again soon so thank you very much for watching thank you for watching the live lessons um, the zoom live magic random babbles I'm going to cut down on uh, I'm, I originally started doing one a day uh, then it became quite hefty uh, doing that so I've cut down to one every two days um, and then obviously now things are starting to open up again and getting a lot busier doing different stuff and things on top of things uh, I'm going to chop down to once a week so I'll decide what day that's going to be it's probably going to be a Wednesday but yeah we'll come to that later thanks for watching guys love you and leave you any questions as always give me a shout and I can help you out with your tricks see ya